Hi everybody. Today we discuss Gaucho's disease. Gaucho's, as one of you have told that you would like to have a lecture on it. Gaucho's, this is a lysosomal storage disorder. Lysosomal storage disorder. Okay. So this means something is getting stored in it, and uh, what is getting stored is it's a lipidosis. Lipidosis in the sense. That is lipid molecules getting stored. Lipidosis. That means a lipid molecule is getting stored. And if we, if uh, you have seen the previous lecture on phospholipids, you must be remembering that there are certain ceramides also, which are lipids. So this lipid which is stored in this diseases, glucosyl ceramide. Glucosyl ceramide, or the most frequently that gets accumulated is you can say GM three gangliosyde. GM three gangliosyde. So Gaucho's disease is a lysosomal storage disorder. Storage in the sense it gets a lipid molecule is stored. Therefore, it is also called as lipidosis. Lipid which is stored as glucosyl ceramide or GM three gangliosyde. So the MCQ point of view and for more information point of view on lysosomal storage disorder the accumulation is of glucosyl ceramide or gm3 gangliosyde more frequently a lysosomal storage disorder now we have seen that a lipid is getting stored but what is the deficiency if we have a lipid which is called as glucosyl ceramide then it would usually break down but what prevents the breaking down of this is the deficiency of an enzyme which is called as beta gluco cerebrosidase okay beta gluco cerebrosidase now this beta gluco cerebrosidase if it is not there this will lead to the accumulation of Lipids or glucosyl or GM three gangliosyde in the cell. Now, what is the importance of beta glucoserebrosidase or acid beta glucosidase? Is that it is not present in body fluids. So this enzyme is not present in body fluids. It is only present in nucleated cells. So like the enzymes which come in the serum. Like acid phosphatase, alkaline phosphatase. Sometimes they come in the serum when there is cell injury, but this does not come in the serum. It is only present in the nucleated cells. Why this is important is because then we cannot detect it in the clinical investigations in the serum. For this, therefore, to detect the enzyme that is beta glucoserebrosidase. Why I am emphasizing on this point is that if you want to identify whether there is deficiency of this enzyme or not. You have to do molecular studies. Okay, so this is not an enzyme which will come in the body fluid, and for the detection of the deficiency, you will have to do molecular studies or mutation studies. Now we have made only two point clear in Gaucho's disease is that it is a lipidosis that has accumulation of lipid, which is glucosyl ceramide. and the second point is that it is a deficiency of beta glucoserebrosidase cerebrosidase okay so beta glucoserebrosidase is absent and it is deficiency of this enzyme this name of beta glucoserebrosidase the other name you can in other books it is given as acid beta glucosidase okay so till now we have done only two points and these two points could be of your mcq or this could be of your importance in your seminar or if at all it's a short answer question if at all your luck is so hard that you get only on particularly on gaucho's disease generally does not happen that way now we'll again deal with that man of ours in mucopolysaccharidosis so this is also lysosomal storage disease this is a normal human being But what does Gaucho's disease do? Gaucho's disease 
here again our man has some skeletal displays here and again there is a hepatomegaly there is a splenomegaly the eye movements are defective okay the eye movements are defective this means what i want to say is that there is mental retardation ophthalmic defect there is skeletal dysplasia and there is hepatosplenomegaly present okay now uh, the thing is that not all types of gaucher's disease will have all these conditions so person sometimes is lucky enough because there is type 1 type 2 and type 3 gaucher's disease type 1 is the most lucky one because it has no mental retardation it has no ophthalmic involvement rest all have the other features the third one has a little less of neural involvement okay so not going into much detail there are three types of gaucher's disease where the first one is lucky enough not having mental retardation not having ophthalmic involvement rest all would be present two and three would also have everything but three would have less neural involvement okay so now we have discussed if i uh, write it ahead uh, right sorry write it above so as to make things clear gaucher's disease lysosomal storage disorder lipidosis accumulation of gm3 ganglioside or glucosal ceramide deficiency of beta glucose cerebrosidase or acid beta glucosidase third mental retardation ophthalmic involvement skeletal dysplasia hepatosplenomegaly types 1 2 3 this is the lucky chart one is the lucky chart less than 2 3 have involvement now i what i wanted to say was now the name gaucher's disease itself is important because of the gaucher cells which are present in which we can see now what are gaucher cells as i told it is a lipidosis because the enzyme beta glucose cerebrosidase will not allow the breakdown of the lipid so the lipid gets accumulated suppose as a cell the lipid gets accumulated in the form of a rod and there are striations it generally doesn't look like this but i am giving you a uh, diagrammatic representation so this is a reticular endothelial cell where the lipid will get accumulated and in rod like form where there are striations and these are called as gaucher cell so now what will happen if this is a bone marrow so there are lots number of cell which are accumulated this cause by some unknown mechanism this will cause the osteoclast or the osteoblast or whatever the osteocytes are present to decrease in number because they these are increasing the lipid cells are increasing in a very simple explanation the gaucher cells hamper the osteocytes because of the cause bone marrow the when, when gaucher cells sorry when the gaucher cells are accumulated the osteocytes indirectly will be hampered they will be decreased and when they are decreased and hampered it will lead to osteopenia necrosis infarction and this explains your skeletal dysplasia ischemias of the bone so this indirectly will lead to skeletal dysplasia so this is one explanation of skeletal dysplasia now the second explanation for the gaucher cell is that the lipid gets accumulated in the reticular endothelial cell and hence it causes hepatosplenomegaly okay so now the thing is that if you want to treat this condition you have to remove the accumulation of the lipid this means you have to 
add the enzyme so that the lipid gets break down okay so now the thing is that for the treatment point of view if you want to treat the disease you have to break down the if you want to treat the disease you have to break down the lipid and to break down the lipid you have to you have to break down the lipid you have to add the enzyme okay so this enzyme can be added but as i have told you this enzyme is not present in the body fluid it is present in nucleated cell so in human the human source for the enzyme is human placenta okay the source for this enzyme is human placenta and it is called as a glucarase a glucarase the second source is through recombinant dna technology recombinant dna technology and it is called as ime glucarase me glucarase so i just wanted you to know certain additional points my friends my students my colleagues should know certain additional points when i take class i have taken this from harrison and i have taken this from a biochemistry book also so this is an additional point where i want you to know that the human source for this enzyme is human placenta that is a glucarase the recombinant dna is e ime glucarase so now gaucher's disease is one such disease where if you add the enzyme it will break down the lipid so if it breaks down the lipid it breaks down the accumulate down the lipid it breaks down the accumulation of the gaucher cell if it uh, does not let the gaucher cell accumulate there is no hepatomegaly splenomegaly and there is no skeletal dysplasia so you are understanding the benefit of the enzyme therapy so there is no skeletal dysplasia and then there is no hepatosplenomegaly so this much is the importance of enzyme therapy and it can be done for gaucher disease okay so the one additional point is that it is enzyme therapy also and it is all enzyme therapy and here we are, uh, the gaucher cell was erased i'll write it over here okay now the other therapy that can be given is that if we suppose somehow some patients are allergic to the enzyme therapy or they are hypersensitive now what do we do we let them die no we cannot because we are doctors we are researchers we cannot let them die so what other method is that lipid which is getting accumulated let us decrease that lipid only if we cannot help the enzyme addition we can at least decrease a substrate so it is called as substrate reduction therapy it is called as substrate reduction therapy so you can do the substrate reduction therapy also for the gaucher's disease so this is called as the other important point for gaucher's disease is substrate reduction therapy now i want to know tell you one more important point is that in gaucher's disease there is deficiency of beta glucocerebrosidase but other lab findings of only interest are that there is increase in iron stores there is increase in angiotensin converting enzyme there is increase in acid phosphatase and there is decrease in the clotting factor number 9 this is just for your extra additional information okay so the main thing that i want it to convey through this gaucher's disease lecture or short lecture was that it is a lysosomal storage disorder where lipids get accumulated mostly gm3 gangliosidase or gluco due to deficiency of beta glucosidase or acid beta glucosidase there type 1 type 2 type 3 type 1 is a lucky chap which has no mental retardation and ophthalmic involvement others have mental retardation ophthalmic involvement skeletal dysplasias 
and hepatitis splenomegaly. Treatment can be through enzyme therapy or substrate reduction therapy. The accumulation is of Gaucher's cell, which explains why there is bone marrow, the uh, bone marrow uh, affect disorder and de or depletion and osteopenia. The hematologic finding would have anemia and uh, cytopenias and anemias. Okay. And the other thing that I told were other uh, lab findings were that there will be increased ion stores, increased angiotensin converting enzyme, decreased clotting factor number 9. The human source for beta glucocerebrosidase would be through human placenta or it could be through human, uh, sorry, recombinant DNA technology. That's all for the lecture today. Thank you. Keep posting, keep commenting, whatever you want, my, want me to do through lectures and keep subscribing there's a facebook page which is called as biochemistry made simple and there i post certain notes and certain important findings also to of some good researchers so you may have a look at that also thank you very much